Sheree, we are so excited to have you back for another season. To the now, to the now, now. Wait, this is my kind of conversation. A billionaire 20 million years ago. <laughs> oh, man, I missed your yeah. She was really, really good. This season for me is like yes. really this good. This is your best like season a... maybe ever. You think? Yes. I was excited that Sheree was back. I know Sheree, she's an OG. At least it's one person I really know and I have history with. Hey, I don't know. Don't go down. What do you do? I don't know. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. I met Sheree years ago because her ex, Bob Whitfield, he actually used to manage my music career. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. So I knew him and I had come to their home before when they were married. And so I did meet her. Um, and honestly, she wasn't that warm to me, um, but I just kind of chopped it up as they had a lot going on. So this was kind of a new introduction. So I was excited. She's obviously an OG, um, nothing but respect. Um, and I was just excited to really build a relationship with her. I was looking forward to it, honestly. Didn't quite go as planned, but you know. I heard so much about you guys. Yeah. yeah. I hope only good things. Yes, of course. I was trying to always extend an olive branch. Like, yeah, we may have gotten off on the wrong foot and had a misunderstanding. I don't know her, I was but I know you. It's Drew, you don't have to call me her. I'm standing right here. <laughs> I don't know her. But I do know you. But my genuine intention was not to come across mean, was not any ill intent. So I thought we did kind of resolve a little bit in New York when we were at dinner. I will apologize if I put my hands in your face. I talk with my hands and I will work on that. Okay. High five. Okay, high five. That's a real high five. But then all of a sudden, you know, she's bringing this girl around and it's all of this investigation going on. So I talked to someone the and they pulled your record and you do have a lot of aliases. And what the does that mean? I don't know. So I told the girls, I don't know. I felt like, okay, she's a mean girl. And you know, for that reason, maybe we won't be friends. And that's fine too. With you being in this group with me, I think for sure this is your best season. You're just a different charade. You know what, this has always been me. And right. then even like, say for instance, uh, the relationship between you and I. Mm -hmm. Fish twirl onto my baseboard. Hey! I almost love you, bitch. <laughs> you could hear this a long time ago. Yes. Like, I really, really have enjoyed yes. Kenya because you have been very supportive, and I yeah. appreciate that. Well, I always had love for you. You know, I respect you, and, and it's just like, the more I'm around you, the more I like you. Like, the more I see how similar we are than mm -hmm. how different we are. Yeah. But then when I came back to see the basement, I was just blown away, but I was just overjoyed for you because mm -hmm. I know it's your vision, it's what you wanted, and it just came out so beautifully. And Thank it was you. like, you won, girl. You Thank got you. it. You got it. Thank it you. It was good. It was really good. <laughs> The two of you came into the season with a little bit of history. He hit you below the belt. Everyone knows you and I'm trying not to hit you below slide. the belt. Let no, me have what you, you're let doing you is over talking this. me, bitch. When did you think your friendship like really blossomed, like turned into what it is today? I almost love you, bitch. <laughs> oh. Let me just tell you what I love about Sheree. And just to, in all honesty, I think Sheree is a really honest person. I think she's not about bull. She's not about stabbing people in the back. She's not about like trying to hurt people. Like she'll match someone's energy. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. But she doesn't go for people just to be going for their throats. Right. You know what I mean? There's a there's a line I don't think she's ever crossed, which is why when we were feuding, it just seemed very above the surface and like very superficial. No bitch is gonna okay, tell me bitch. to put moldy well, you need and to do something if you want to look good. Mm -hmm. Because it was arguing about houses and like we took some jabs at each other. When you finish your mold infested house, you're all in Atlanta is talking about the house that never was. But, well, you know, this whole house was the same size as my uh, master suite. You want to be all this and all that, and you shopping at Ikea and your shit ain't finished, bitch, get out of here. But it was never to the point where I felt I couldn't be friends with her ever again. Like, oh my God, you know, it wasn't that terrible. Yeah. And, and when we have had issues before, 
we would call each other and, mm-hmm. and I remember you giving me a phone call before and you were like, well, I didn't like that you said that and, and, and you told me why. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I understand it and so mm-hmm. we'll, I'll try to stay away from that. But the more I'm around her, it's just like, Sheree's that girl. Like, she's that girl. <laughs> she's really a girl's girl. She really is. Yeah, I am really a girl's girl. And again, same thing with the Kenya said. Our arguments were above surface. Right. It was petty. Yes. And we didn't really have a chance to get to know each other. Right. But getting to know Kenya this season, she's fun. Like, I did yeah. not know the fun side of you. I'm I did such not a know the ball. supportive side. I didn't know that, though. I'm so super. I'm very loyal and very supportive. I look stupid as <laughs> Crazy as Oh, don't cry, Sheree. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. Sheree, this is your coming out party. You got to call on people, Sheree. I know, but it's too late for that. It's not too late. And I want you to win. Yeah. Like, when you're my enemy, that's when you have to watch out. <laughs> but when you're my Boy, friend... Boy, do I know. <laughs> you look stupid. No, you look stupid. You look okay. You really look stupid. stupid. Just like that tire you Mama you? Joyce wig you're wearing. It's real old and tired. <laughs> when you are my friend... <laughs> I am that girl you call at three o'clock in the morning yeah. and an accident happened and I need to bring the shovel. I'm bringing the shovel. Okay, we're going to bury, gonna bury that. Okay, we're going to bury the I'm, I'm that girl too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm waking up. You're going to call me first. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just, that's how I am with my friends and the friends that I've had. I've had them, my core friends, like 30 years plus. Same. Same. You know, yep. and so I don't know. I, I'm not going to call people every day. I don't do that. Mm-hmm. But when someone is in my heart, they're in my heart. Yep. And I just want everyone around me that I care about to win. And that's, yeah. I feel like I just have seen Sheree go through so much. And even though she acts so tough on the outside, I know like she's really vulnerable in places. And I just, you know, I want her to win. You know, we're kind of in the same place. We were married around mm-hmm. the same amount of time. Yep. Our husbands did not treat us the way they should have treated us. She was a single mom at, mm-hmm. at a point. Mm-hmm. We have so much in common. We're okay. fabulous. Yes. You know what I mean? We're we're like <laughs> like a year apart from each other. We just have a lot in common. We're business women. Mm-hmm. We just have a lot in common.